They're extremely high in emotional connection. They know how to connect with people. They know how to form like teamwork. They're terribly diplomatic. Social standing. They are actually able to project that. They're able to manage those relationships. Okay? They can actually guide and steer these things appropriately. All right? on a, then on the, on the last one, they also are, have the ability to have a, a, an intimate connection to develop a really strong grounding in reality and connection with the individuals. So what you have here are people that trigger high emotional triggers. And based on that, based on meeting your emotional needs, people are going to be tempted to develop a relationship with you. There's a temptation here. Equally as important, there's a psychological response. These are people that know how to meet your psychological needs. And a lot of people are not complete. A lot of people are damaged. A lot of people have voids. These people will fill that void, intentionally or not. They know how to do it. They naturally do it. When people sit down and say, they complete me, that's what they're talking about. These people will actually trigger, have an emotional response, and you'll actually want to potentially have a relationship with them because they meet your psychological needs. Lastly, and this is an interesting one, they will also meet your intellectual needs. There are a number of people who are incredibly intelligent. And when you share valued ideas, when there's a tremendous connection based on shared values, shared ideas, again, you'll likely want to have a relationship with this, these individuals. So in many cases in our society, we see people who are, we ha that have relationships that we may not quite understand, but they're answering this solution. There's a, they're answering those questions. Who do we have in the lower right? These people are the direct opposite. These guys are all biological responses. They look fucking amazing. These are gorgeous individuals. They're pretty, right? They have social standing. They have all the characteristics of wealth, fame, uh, success, and they exude it, how they dress, how they act, how they stand. Not only that, they're constantly sexual. They exude sexuality, whether they try to or not. They just exude it. Now, let's go to the very bottom over here. What do you think the bottom looks like, these folks here? We're going to say no immediately. These people exist. All right? They're incredibly low on the social scale, incredibly low on the biological scale. These are God's children. These people need help. They need our compassion. These people are real. All right? For our purposes, when we talk about the sexual marketplaces, we don't go here. This is a protected class of people All right? in a very real sense. In many ways, they're legally protected. These are people that are not able to enter in contracts. They're not mentally able to. They're just not functional in a way in which we anticipate. Based on that, we're going to protect these people. For the course of this talk and the rest of your lives, we don't go here. All right? Now, in contrast to that, who are these folks? They got it all, don't they? They've got all the biological markers. They have all the social markers. This is the human ideal. This is who we want to be. These are people we want to look for, and we want as role models, and we want to aspire to this. There it is. All right. Somewhere within this matrix, within this field, each of you exist. I do too. What I want each of you to do, not right now, don't call it out loud, this is a very personal thing. Put yourself here. Where are you right now? Hold that in your mind. As we go through this presentation, it may shift based on some of the things we talk about. You may want to change that, but you should have a general idea where you exist. Now, if you really want to get technical, rate yourself on the three, three elements of survival, provision, and seduction. Where do you scale on that and divide by three and get an average? Do the same thing on the other side. How's your relationship skills levels? How's your relationship management skills levels? How are you able to foster and maintain okay, a relationship? Do you have those skills? Divide by three, pick an average, and the combination of the two will be a vector point. Pretty precise, but in our purposes, we really don't care. You just need to know roughly where you're at. All right? I happen to rate this from one to 10. It can be 100, I don't really care. Just get a sense of the scale and magnitude as we talk about this. Now, as we go forward, I'd like to talk a little bit more about the zones, okay? because it's not just the isolations of the outliers. I actually want to talk about major areas that we can actually talk about, and one of the most famous and really popular is this. It's the friend zone. We've been talking about this all weekend, haven't we? All right. What do we know about the friend zone? 
Everybody here is below the sex threshold. See that dashed yellow line on the vertical area? They are below the sex threshold. Nobody wants to have sex with these people. These people don't want to have sex with themselves. Okay. It's true. All right. The other thing that we know is that they are below the level on a number of cases of the, not only just the sex threshold, but physically they don't look the part. We know somebody who's out of control. Okay? We know somebody who's just not physically a specimen of the human species we want to put forward. They know it. Okay? Not only that, on a, on a social level, they don't have the social skills available as well. They are not projecting those elements of worth and value and standing within our society. All right? The third one is sexually. Sexually, they have no ability to understand the signals of attraction. They neither understand the reception. They don't understand it when it's projected to them. They have no command of being able to project that out. Okay? These are IOIs, indicators of interest. And furthermore, they lack an ability to escalate. All right? These are people that cannot escalate sexually, physically. Okay? I would also sit down and say these people can't pull a trigger when it's in front of themselves. All right? They cannot execute. There's a cost to be paid here. The worst part about it, if you're here, you're here because you want to be. You're putting yourself here. That's a sad thing. Let's go to my next favorite one. Douchebags and party girls, all right? This is the opposite end of it. <laughs> this is the opposite end of it. The difference is these people are getting laid. These people are having sex. They're having sex for a reason, all right? Just like the uh, people over in the friend zone were not getting laid for a reason, these people are getting laid for a reason, all right? And I'm not saying that's the ultimate objective, but there's a tremendous amount of validation that comes with that, all right? They're all above uh, the, the uh, sexual threshold. Uh, but something that needs to be very clearly articulated here, something that's going to kind of slip by very, very quickly, is when we look at the people that exist here, emptiness and charm, okay, and this is what it is, emptiness and charm, these people are terribly charming, but not very virtuous. Emptiness and charm is associated with what personality types? Sociopaths. Sociopaths and psychopaths. Say it again. Sociopaths and psychopaths. These are fucking dangerous individuals. I'm not kidding. These are dangerous individuals. And you're going to stick your dick in it. Be very careful here. We'll come back to this. All right? Furthermore, these people are unable or unwilling to make social connections. They either don't know how or, God forbid, are unable to. And if they're unable to, they are genetically damaged. And these people exist. They're amongst us. Not here today, but they're out there. Be wary of this. There are monsters in this world, and they exist. And they look and act just like us. Right. Beyond that, they also don't have an ability to exercise control of themselves. They can't help themselves. They actually can't help themselves. It doesn't justify what they do, but they can't help themselves. All right? Crazy will do what crazy's got to do, all right? You can't deny crazy. Crazy will not be denied. That's the worst part about it. It's like the truth. It reveals itself. Crazy will reveal itself. Your key is to fucking listen. <laughs> listen and pay attention. It's not just that. See it for what it is. These are scary things. They really are. But this is a little bit of the lay of the land. All right. I happen to like this picture a little bit better. Now we're talking the, this big area right in here. That's the dating zone. It is the largest zone in this map, and it should be. I think most of us should be dateable. I think most of us should be of a level in which we should be inside this zone. This is where we want to be. All right. It's pretty straightforward. It's considerable difference between social and personal values. It'll fluctuate. I, I want to recognize this. I know these are hard lines, but they fluctuate. They will fluctuate. It's a little, little nebulous, but I don't want to focus too much on that. Just recognize that your individual circles may be different than mine. That's okay. But generally, this is what we're talking about. All right? And we want to kind of be in this area. We should be in this area. This is the natural condition of mankind. This is where men and women belong. All right. If not, there's something wrong. Ultimately, the oops, wrong way. Ultimately, though, 
I want to have, have everybody kind of head up here. This is relationship potential. This is marriage potential. Now, in all honesty, you can commit yourself, your life, your resources, your future anywhere you damn well please. I don't think it's necessarily smart. I think you should be shooting for here. This is a sweet spot up here. All right. Again, when we talk about the human ideal, we're going to gravitate towards that. This is a lot more readily achievable than the human ideal. You get close, but you don't have to do all the work to be the human ideal. This is relationship and marriage potential. These are the people you should be looking at. These are the people you should be committing yourself to. I will say this now. These are virtuous individuals, higher on the social scale. All right? If you commit yourself to anyone outside this range, you fucking betrayed virtue. Think about that for a minute. You commit outside of this range, you are not honoring virtue. You are not a virtuous individual. You can't stay, say and think you're virtuous when you're acting counter to that. And you know it. You know it every time you do it. You can't escape yourself. I'm here to shame you. I'm here to tell you it's wrong. I'm here to tell you you deserve better. And you should have better. But you have to do it for yourself. Oops. This is another zone. This is a terribly important one. It's a combination of two areas, between the friend zone and the fuck buddies. We refer to them as creepy and awkward. These are obstacles within our map. This is, these are obstacles. These are topography in the realm of the sexual marketplace. We need to understand that they exist. And they exist because of incongruent behavior. Come on the stage, my man. Awesome you. introducing you, and I can't wait to watch what you got. My name is Socrates, and I am here to champion a cause. It is a cause and also a pathway that has been terribly degraded and demised in recent times. It is also a pathway and a destination that I hope changes in our society. But at this time in life, in where we live, it is immensely a dangerous environment. And I don't mean it facetiously. I mean it is terribly a risky endeavor. I'm not talking about a We know somebody who's out of control, okay? We know somebody who's just not physically a specimen of the human species we want to put forward. They know it, okay? Not only that, on a, on a social level, they don't have the social skills available as well. They are not projecting those elements of worth and value and standing within our society. It's true, not quite true. This is a hot or not scale. All right? This is why I know that hot or not isn't the only criteria. All right? We have four different individuals lined up here. And their sole response for getting a relationship, for finding what they want, marriage in this case, they apply what skills? If your only game you have is how hot you are, you're going to be pushing this vector right here. That's awesome. They're going to be hotter, they're more desirable, everything else. Problem is, only these individuals are actually relationship potentials. This is when you're getting tempted to date these people. These people here, nobody wants to be in a relationship with them, and they're not. All right? There's a harsh reality here. The market's, the market's responding. If you're not in a relationship and you're just focused on, on beauty and attraction, you're not going to get here. You can't get there by doing this. You're going to highly amplify your physical presence. All right, think about that for a second. You're going to highly amplify your physical being. Then you're going to act in a hyper-dominant way, traditionally. This is the traditional form. Not only that you're going to get aggressive sexually. 
Let's put all that together really quick. Over amplify your physical presence, getting socially dominant and aggressive and sexually domineering with people that are not dialed in socially. Anybody see a problem happening here? Anybody see a train wreck? I sure as hell do. All right. It's not just a train wreck. Let's talk about their clientele. What are you going through? Because that's the only thing you guys really care about. You really don't care about what ends up happening there. You actually care about your experience. What are you going to go through? You're going to go through initially a very creepy phase. You put in a little bit of effort, you're going to be a creepy fucking dude. You only put in a small amount of effort, you are going to be creepier than fuck. Okay? Just being honest. Now, nice, there's a, there's a degree of reprieve here. See that? Enjoy it. That is beautiful. You're good enough the way you are. You just need to be more beautiful. Remember that sliding bar? You just need to be more beautiful. Not virtuous, more beautiful. What do the women magazines push? Beauty or virtue? Product. Product. That's right. <laughs> They're not pushing virtue. This sucks. If you're a woman and you're average, it sucks to be you. I'm talking to you. All right? What do you do? You better woman the fuck up. Really. You need to focus on virtue and learn those skills and apply those skills. Otherwise, you're here. Let's take it a step further. Let's talk about the guys now. Average guy. 